as I close uh, this show, I want you to know one thing. Uh, our brother, a Porter, uh, I want you to read that that real quick. Uh, 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 Talking John, put put on, uh, uh, give me 10, see what that is. All right, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. We Ted Diem, editorial writer, saying that Trina Middleton was 14 years old on September 21st, 1984, walking with two friends on a street near her home when then 28-year-old Ramel Broom set upon them, snatched Trina as her screaming friends ran for their lives, drove her to a secluded spot, raped her and stabbed her seven times in the chest. Now we are being asked to consider whether retrying a failed attempt at lethal injection constitutes cruel and unusual punishment for him. Who cares? Let, 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 listen, uh, when this article was written, uh, in 1984, 1984, Romel Broom, I had the barbershop right there on Page Avenue on, in Euclid. Uh, and at the time, Romel Broom used to hang across the street uh, drinking wine and, and, and doing other things. All right, on this particular day, September the 21st, 1984, Trina Milberton and two more young girls were leaving school and they lived up on Oak Hill. They passed by the barbershop and they lived up in uh, on Oak Hill. So they had to go up this little hill up to Oak Hill to where they lived. On their way up to Oak Hill, this scoundrel uh, chased them down. The two of them, the, all three of them ran for their life. They caught, uh, uh, Broom caught Trina Milton, raped her, abused her, stabbed her body up and killed her. And that's where uh, they caught him right across the street from the barbershop. And I'll tell you something, that was in 1984. And I'll tell you right now, since that time, Romero Broom has went in front of uh, the gas chamber and he stuck the needle in his arm. And for some reason, his veins wouldn't take the needle, so he got a reprieve. So now he's crying and pleaded, oh, it, it didn't work, so it's cruel and unusual punishment that I should have to do this again. Well, Romel Broom, I want you to know right now, I know you're listening in your, in, in your, death, uh, in your death row, but let me tell you something, Romel Broom, and I'm against the death penalty, but Romel Broom, I know the Milton family. I know how long they suffered. And if you think that just because you had a missed vein and didn't get that lethal injection that I'm against you dying, then you got another thing coming because I'll tell you right now, if you mess with my children, if you mess with my baby, I don't care if it was 1984, 1954, if you mess with my babies, I'm not going to forget you, Romel Broom. And if, if, if the mother still wants me to go down and watch you get that lethal injection in your arm, I'm going. Because I give me some music, son, because I'll never forget. Oh, yes, I'm confused right now because I am anti-death penalty. But when it come to my babies, I'm all confused. Listen, y'all pray for my soul. Turn it up, son. Pray for my soul. You don't do that to my babies and think I forget. Little Trina Milton coming mm. from school and you murder her like this and rape and kill her. I'll never forget. You rest your soul in hell. Oh, I'm confused. I'm against the death penalty, but in certain cases, I'm not.